Well, Mr. Nash. Mr. Bonsai. So, the year was 1963, um, your first hit. Important year, Kennedy assassination. Interesting. Yeah, 40 years. Ain't that just like me as the Hollies, my first band. We covered a coaster song called Ain't That Just Like Mary Had a Little Lamb. You know that song? Mm -hmm. And we put it out, and in May of 1963, it was our first hit, and uh, we never looked back. And uh, this year, well, 2003, you got your first tattoo. Yeah, well, it's not quite 2003, but almost. But yeah, <laughs> um, my first tattoo, yeah. I was the only fa one of my family that didn't have a tattoo. My son Will was the first one, and then my son uh, Jackson, and then my daughter Niall, and then my wife Susan, and then all of a sudden I'm the only one that doesn't have a tattoo. And there wasn't any pressure, but there was this like unspoken thing, you know. And one of, actually, one of the saddest parts of my life is that my father had a tattoo, mm -hmm. and for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. And it makes me very sad for some reason. Um, and I've tried to find out, I've tried pouring through old photographs to see if there was a part of his arm, he, he had it on his arm here, um, that I could blow up and go, oh yeah, I remember what it was now. But I can't, and it, it makes me sad, but still. So yes, I did get a tattoo yesterday. In fact, you were there, weren't you? Yes, well let's mm. go back and take a look at the experience. You got it. You know, we just finished this, and we've done, we've done this. We've got a couple more hours to finish up the arm. Oh yeah, What's, what does the um, writing say, John? Love, peace, brings happiness. And so, when did you get your first tattoo? 78. You were 78? Yeah. Brave boy. Then I started. I figured, what the hell? I'm the it's just after a few hours. It's just after like, yeah, a few hours, you just feel like, stop doing that. <laughs> oh my god, the family that tattoos together. Uh -huh. So, how long has this been going on? Um, we're into our fourth day right now. We're going to take a break for Easter. Whoops. Huh? Yeah. What do you mean, whoops? It doesn't look a thing like a dolphin. Oh, hey, a dolphin. It is, does look <laughs> like a dolphin, doesn't it? Yeah, with a hat. With <laughs> oh my god, you're bleeding, you crap. Good. At least I'm alive. Oh my god, that's a tattoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Let's see. <laughs> that looks fantastic. Let's see that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, and let me, um, should no, I, yeah, are we going to reveal the artwork here? Well, I think we should. Let's take a look. A little quarter of an inch at a time, or shall I give it a... <laughs> um, take it off, baby. Let's see. That's what it is. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And can you tell me what is in yeah. there? This is Ganesh. He's a multi-armed Indian god of protection. Um, and I, I, I wanted to put, you know, things, if I was going to put something on my body, I want you to, to, uh, to relate to who I am. Um, and so I have, in honor of my rainy north of England town, over here I have a little cloud with, uh, with rain coming down in one hand. And in the other hand is uh, fire. And of course, the Ganesh is sitting on the earth in a lotus blossom. And out of one hand also comes the wind and the clouds representing air. I put an eye in there for my camera work. And I put a treble clef in there for, to represent my music. And it's an interesting it's interesting putting something on your body. I thought I would feel less for having done it, but I actually feel more. 
it's interesting. I, it's kind of empowering because it's not a big deal. You know, and we have things in our lives that we fear and the philosophers say you must face your fear, you know. And I, so I, I, I've always, not feared, but I'm, I've always been against having a tattoo, but here it is. And of course, um, I think the next thing is to uh, face my other fear of jumping out of a plane. So maybe we'll have, uh, maybe you and I will tandem and we'll head towards the earth on a parachute while you filming an interview of me on the way down, of course. I can hardly wait. I'm sure and, you can. And I'd only do it for you. I'm sure you would. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. I didn't even cry. <laughs> <laughs>